The scale of destruction in Gaza is unimaginable. The over a million displaced cannot return to their homes. It would take years to rebuild this trip the way it was before October 7. In the following report, we explore together why did diplomacy fail in Gaza? The Gaza Strip is in ruins. Amid pools of disease-spreading, sewage-tainted water, hills of rubble abound where apartment blocks once stood in the besieged enclave. Ever since the Hamas assault on Tel Aviv last year, Israel says its fight is against the Palestinian militant group. But Israel's year-long offensive, one of the deadliest in history, has claimed over 42,000 lives, with over half of them women and children. With no end in sight to the war and no plan for the day after, it is impossible to say when or even if anything will be rebuilt. Twelve months of conflict in Gaza have resulted in deaths or injury of 6% of the total population. Many of the injured are women and children who are now facing permanent disabilities. 90% of Gaza's population has been displaced and is living in overcrowded camps with limited access to food, water and health care. At the end of January, the World Bank estimated $18.5 billion worth of damage, nearly the combined economic output of the West Bank and Gaza in 2022. UN agencies say unemployment has soared to around 80%, up from nearly 50% before the war, and that almost the entire population is living in poverty. We want a solution and for the war to stop. We've had enough, enough massacres. There are massacres every day here and there. The entire neighborhood here has been destroyed. Look at our homes, how they've been destroyed. We've been torn apart. We don't know where we're heading. Wealthy Arab countries like Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates say they are only willing to contribute to Gaza's reconstruction as part of a post-war settlement that creates a path to a Palestinian state. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has ruled that out, saying he won't allow Hamas or even the Western-backed Palestinian Authority to govern Gaza. The campaign must not be stopped prematurely. As long as the enemy threatens our existence and the peace of our country, we will continue to fight. As long as our hostages are in Gaza, we will continue to fight. We will not give up any of them. I will not give up. As Washington calls for a regional ceasefire, it continues to provide political and military support for Israel. Is the expanding war failed diplomacy? Holding an ice cream cone, US President Joe Biden declared in February that a ceasefire in Gaza was so close that it might materialize within days. We'll start, sir. Well, I hope by the beginning of the weekend, I mean the end of the weekend. At least my, my, my national security advisor tells me that we're close. We're close. It's not done yet. And my hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. Seven months later, not only has Israel's war on Gaza continued, but it has expanded, with Israeli troops bombing Lebanon as tensions and violence spill over thick and fast across West Asia. Thank <laughs> you.